Mayor Bill de Blasio put it bluntly, there is no precedent for this in U.S. history. Over the last 24 hours, the coronavirus outbreak went from pandemic threat to local game changer. The declaration of state of emergency authorizes the use of the powers, but we will use them as needed. New York City Doesn't Mayor Bill de Blasio working in lockstep with Governor Andrew Cuomo and other elected officials across our region to essentially force social distancing into our daily way of life. It is a lesson drawn from history. The 1918 pandemic caused the global deaths of probably 50 and maybe up to well, 100 million people. And what was not done enough a century ago. This is difficult stuff because we know it'll have a serious, serious impact on a number of businesses. Sporting events, concerts, professional conferences, anything in New York City that involves the gathering of 500 or more people are now all canceled and establishments told to operate at 50% of their maximum occupancy. Why are the stakes so high? As of Thursday, New York City has 95 coronavirus cases, but by next week, that number is expected to jump to 1,000. And again, we've been reporting this for days now, but it bears repeating. Although most healthy children, millennials, and anyone under 50 years old who gets coronavirus are likely to make a full recovery, it's often a trip to the hospital or a death sentence for the elderly and anyone with a compromised immune system. We are completely coordinated. We're tracking number of beds available. Mayor de Blasio says his administration is doing everything in its power to avoid shutting down mass transit, the health care system, and the school system, even as two students tested positive at a school building in the Bronx. Somebody tested positive, everybody has to evacuate the school. In other words, if you joked about coronavirus before or underestimated how it could impact you personally, welcome to your new normal. This will not be over soon. This is going to be a long, long battle. It's going to be a tough battle. We are going to lose some of our fellow New Yorkers. That unfortunately is inevitable. So we've talked about the business impact, but think about personal experiences and the time of year that we're in. Graduations, proms, and weddings. Mayor de Blasio's advice for weddings and dating, try to attend them, but try to also keep your distance. Could be easier said than done.